Calling me Santa Monica. I started welling up. Hello everybody and welcome back. I hope that you are doing well. I'm Hannah, I have a degree in the voice and I also used to teach a degree in the voice at a university as well. So you're in safe hands, don't you worry. I am qualified to be here, I promise. Today I'm gonna to be reacting to another artist who I've been obsessed with, who I have not reacted to on my channel just yet and that is Chapel Roan. I am reacting to a new live performance of Pink Pony Club from SNL. When I'm filming this, this has only been out for six days and it's 1.7 million views on YouTube. So I thought I would just pick this one. Really, really excited to get into Chapel's unique sound and techniques. Of course, if you are new here, please don't forget to subscribe on the way out. Check out all the extended versions of these videos on Patreon. And I hope you enjoy the video. Let's jump in. But I can't ignore the crazy visions of me in LA. And I heard that there's a special place where boys and girls can all be queens every single day. I'm having wicked dreams of leaving Tennessee. Yes, Santa Monica, I swear it's calling me. Won't make my mama proud. It's gonna cause a scene. She sees a baby girl. I know she's gonna scream. God, what have you done? You're a pink pony girl. And you dance at the club, oh mama. I'm just having fun on the stage in my heels. It's where. Oh, I think she sounds so good so far. I really, really love her voice. It is so unique, as I said, and I think she has so much going on that is so amazing. I kind of just wanted to let her get into the chorus and kind of just warm up a little bit. I feel like maybe there's an element of nervousness here, which is, again, not a criti criticism. It's just noticing it. And I also think it's really good to notice stuff like that because people are very, very quick to be like, oh, this doesn't sound perfect. And it's like, no, because you've gone to see someone one sing live like that is life everyone sounds different live so you know but yeah in general I'm really really liking the performance I really think what's so special and unique about her sound or part of it is so many vocal flips <laughs> I love the vocal flips I think they are so nice they're so special and they sound so natural to her which is so crazy because I think she's got quite a unique blend of um, different sounds in there I think that there's a slightly more kind of operatic sound sometimes in her head voice. I think in this chorus, she's using quite a nice kind of really thin head voicey mix, which is again, so interesting. You don't really hear that too much in pop, I would say. I definitely don't remember any reactions where I've noticed that. I love all those different techniques and they sound so amazing put together on her voice. I'm gonna travel back a little bit. I'm having wicked dreams of leaving Tennessee. Yes, and I'm on I swear it's calling me Won't make my mama proud Yeah, right there. Calling me. Just that tiny little one at the end of the line. I really like it. I think it's so cool. Won't make my mama proud It's gonna cause a scene She sees a baby girl I know she's gonna scream God, what have you done? You're a pink pony girl And you dance at the club On that line, I feel like there's a really head voicey mix coming through there. It's so nice. It's so nice. And I just love that she's put so many vocal flips in everywhere, like in the middle of lines. It's not even just at the end of them. She puts them in everywhere. And I really like them. I think it was in uh, You're a Pink Pony Girl. I think there was some in the middle there as well. You're a pink pony girl. And you dance at the club. 
I know it was there it was there on oh mama it was there so it's like at the end of notes but not necessarily at the end of lines like sometimes those notes are in the middle of the line and you dance at the club oh mama I'm the seven foot on the stage in my ears it's where I belong I'm going to do the typical voice coach thing and actually look at what note that is because I feel like that might be deceptively high. She's singing it really, really well. Yeah, so it is actually a B at the top. I weirdly thought that was going to be higher. I know I said, oh, I feel like that might be deceptively high, but actually I thought it was higher than that. But either way, she's definitely a mix there and it sounds really nice. It sounds really, really supported and just easy. Oh, I love how much passion she puts into her performances as well, like her whole body, her whole everything, you know. It's obviously very, very personal to her and I, I love that. I really, really love that. I love that we're getting some almost like speechy elements in there. Like we're kind of getting some falls off of the lines and like it's very, it's so much personality in it. I'm just gonna pick one of the lyrics and hope that it was this line. I think it was on Santa Monica. It's just a fall off. It's just, it gives just something. Like it gives something really nice and just a little personal touch to it. Yeah, I love it. I I love everything that she's doing so far. Oh, Santa Monica, you've been too good to me. we're getting such a nice mix and she's really transitioning from that into the slightly bigger beltier moments on the lower notes really 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 well that's quite the shift in terms of techniques and where the sound is placed so i think she's doing a really incredible job and it yeah i love it it sounds really nice <laughs> That was nice to hear a little bit more of her lower range in that really nice strong chest voice coming through at the bottom. That was really nice. Bit of a different tone and register to what we've heard throughout the song. So yeah, loved that. Mama, every Love the vibrato as well. It's so good.
That was such a nice moment. I started welling up when everyone was singing. That was such a beautiful moment. I really inspiring and really refreshing to see artists being so raw and themselves as well, like and bringing something so unique and fresh. I really, really admire it. And I love Chapel's music. I, I think she's doing so incredibly. <laughs> That was some really great, more mixy belts. I love that. That was really, really nice. You could really see her jaw dropping to do the dancing. I wanna keep on dancing. Like that jaw was really, really dropping. Yeah, really, I thought they were some really good belts. Yeah, amazing. Honestly, like I thought that was so, so, so incredible. And for a live performance as well, like I do feel like Chapel's success from what I know of her has been very quick. I know that she's been in the industry for a long time, but to have success at this level feels like, you know, she's still quite fresh for doing it at this level. And SNL, like that is massive. I can really, really understand why you would be nervous. <laughs> I would be, oh my God. I would not have sung like that if I was nervous and, and on SNL. <laughs> like she did an incredible job of that. So yeah, I did feel like maybe there were some slight nerves at the beginning, but that is so natural. And I think that we really need to get used to that as a society. Like I do think like there must have been nervous performers before, but we just didn't have phones to whip out and like take videos of it and listen back and be like, oh yeah, that wasn't that great. You know, like I just think it's made us quite nitpicky I think being able to listen back to like a five second clip over and over and over I think it's just made us maybe a bit too hypercritical on artists at certain points I'm just saying I'm just saying it's an opinion that no one asked for but I'm just saying it anyway but yeah that is in no way saying that Chapel sounded bad there at all because she really really didn't I'm just saying she sounded maybe just a little bit breathless at certain points in that first chorus but that is so normal and then to navigate the rest of like she, she just navigated it so 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 well like some of the phrases were slightly shorter in that first chorus because it's like you know if you're feeling like you can't sustain that note that's fine get off of it you know you have that freedom within pop music that you wouldn't have within theatre for example where it's like like, okay, I want to cut this phrase short. Okay, do it. Amazing, you know? And I think that it's amazing to watch her navigate that so successfully and give such an incredible performance. And yeah, I didn't feel nerves for the whole of the rest of the performance after that first chorus. So I may be reading into that. I just thought she was amazing. I loved those belts at the end. The mix is Oh, so, so, so good. So good. I would love to hear a little bit more of her head voice. I know that she uh, uses that in some other songs. So maybe I need to do another reaction of a different song and hear that lovely head voice coming through. But yeah, in general, absolutely love it. Love the song, love the performance. Um, and she's so good. Okay, thank you so, so much for watching. I hope that you enjoyed the video. If you did, and if you are new, please don't forget to subscribe on the way out. Check out all the extended versions of these videos on Patreon. Don't forget to leave me a comment of how you thought the video was how you thought the performance was i love to hear your thoughts if there's anything else that you want me to react to as well please do drop that but yeah i hope that you have a lovely week until i see you next goodbye